The internet has transformed our homes into offices, gyms, schools, and more. For many of us, this shift has taken some getting used to, but for others, working remotely has been a way of life. We checked in with a few Mozilla employees, some new to working from home and others old pros at it to see how they're making the most of staying in. So we've got about a thousand staff in 15 countries around the world. Before the pandemic, we're 46% remote workers. And I think from a talent perspective and like from our mission to be able to work with people who are all over the world or people who live in different places, like that's a huge advantage. And say like, okay, this is this time where we're both going to work and this is the time where we're both going to have a break together. So basically the morning is already kind of a business meeting, you know, like with me and my son, just both of us looking in our calendars. I've seen a lot of people talk about being distracted while working from home. But really, when you think about it, some of the moments that may feel disruptive are actually moments of kindness. It's someone bringing you a glass of water, uh, someone bringing you a cup of coffee, and it reminds us to look around and think about what's really important. There's so many things that can go wrong, and we're in this online, remote environment where we're all under stress. So we have to just take more time and over communicate and be more intentional. Working from home is something I've been doing for almost seven years now, actually. I have two cats, Rosie and Calvin. They've been a bit of a godsend in working remotely for this long. For those that are working uh, from home for the first time, I think it's pretty important to limit the amount of cognitive overload or overhead that you encounter every day. You have to act your new normal. You have to find what triggers anxiety. You have to find what triggers peace, inner peace. You have to find the solutions which are cool for you and uh, will uh, help you. We are not necessarily productive 100%. The importance is not the time you spend, the importance is can you deliver the work in the timely fashion. We're all in the same storm together, but we're all in different boats. And like, maybe my boat is shipwrecked and yours is sailing fine. We can't assume that we're all having the same experience. I think that priority shifted in the way of like, what really, really matters for me to be happy. Perspectives are changing and we have really rediscovered really home as a place where we can also be really productive while being present for family. I'm also a photographer. This is the longest time that I've not been outside with a camera. It's given me an opportunity not to look through my lens outward, but to look inward. What does the future hold for the modern day workplace? My initial reaction is like, I don't know. I think saying stuff like the workplace is dead is hyperbole uh, makes really good headlines, but I'm not sure. I think that we need to look beyond the cubicle. What value do we get from being co-located? We've learned that working remotely does work and being close to 100% distributed is not any less productive. Right now I feel super grateful for the internet and the work that we're doing with our mission to keep the internet open and accessible for all because it's literally our lifeline right now to each other.